Welcome to our second uh, season of Healthy Cooking with Chef Larche. For those who were viewing us last year, we want to welcome you back for another exciting season. For those of you who are viewing for the first time, welcome. And we hope and pray that as you listen to the lectures on healthy cooking and you get some ideas and do it in your own life, that if you get a benefit from it, be sure to invite your friends uh, to tune in as well. So. Tonight we're going to talk about uh, oven fried potatoes and uh, Chef's famous tofu. Let's talk to, uh, let's greet our staff back here. Chef Larche is, welcome back to season number two. Are you ready for this? Ah, we are excited, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> yeah, excited? absolutely. Yes, we're looking forward for this. Awesome. <laughs> yes. under, under Chef, Chef Emily Graham. Welcome back, <laughs> Emily. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to have you guys back. For some of you who might not be familiar or be tuning in for the first time, Chef Larche was born in Martinique. Uh, he grew up in France, took his culinary training there. His specialty was in vegetarian cuisine. Um, his assistant at this time is our understudy chef, we call her, Emily Graham. She is a, a teacher here at the elementary school in Grayling. And uh, welcome back, Emily, season number two. Glad to have you back. Also, as we progress in the program, later, chef's wife, Nadine, who's working on her uh, nurse practitioner doctorate's degree, she will give a health presentation as uh, the food is cooking, uh, and then we'll finish it off with a little tasting, a little sampling, and showing you the finished work of what's taken place. So with that, let's go ahead and turn it over to Chef and uh, to Emily as they introduce what we're about to do. Hey, welcome back, Emily. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, it has uh, been. I'm excited to awesome. see, to, to uh, again experience this culinary around the world because mm -hmm. this is what we're going to do today is scrambled tofu and uh rosemary potatoes okay Ooh. so um i hope you audience you have uh about everything we posted early in advance so you could uh buy those potato these potatoes and all the ingredients so you can actually um follow us in the kitchen huh because mm -hmm. this is i think it'll be fun if you cook at the same time show us the pictures and all the things that you've done and uh so we have fun together. So you ready? We're going to go. And um, maybe sometime we go a little fast, but you can always pause and, and we, got it, we got it again. Okay, so we're going to start with the potatoes first, okay? Okay. So the potatoes is uh, just some um, adult potatoes. And so we're going to actually do wedges. Um, wedges let's okay. do like about three wedges on each one. Okay. On each side, okay, just like that. And there is a bowl here. We can put everything in this bowl there. Mm, perfect. Okay. So uh, this is a good breakfast in the morning, you know. And yeah. you, you can do wedges or you can cut it in two. If it's too big, you can just do it in two if you want to or leave it just like that. Okay. Huh? It's up to you, cool. okay? So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to use six potatoes. So very easy. So you're going to um, we wash it first and uh, we're going to season it. You're so fast. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Nice. <laughs> take your time. Watch. Take your time. <laughs> okay, there is some bad pieces there. You see, we want yeah. to make sure we take this away and take uh, take it out. Yeah, and just okay. like that. And if it's Beautiful. too big, after if three pieces is still too big, we can do a uh, cut another side again. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, so what we're going to add into it? We're going to put some olive oil. Mm. We're going to put yeah. some uh, rosemary. Ooh, I you love rosemary. You, love rosemary. you yeah. know something? It's like rosemary is like one of my favorite spices. Mm -hmm. Uh, herbs. It's another spice of herbs. Okay. And uh, um, in the south of France, when you do hike, we uh, we love hi I love those uh, those calanque. We call it the calanque. It's uh -huh. like a mountain going up down into uh, uh, oceans. And so, oh, wow. and so, uh, thank you. Oh, and thank so you. we we um, so uh, we smell the lavender and the rosemary all over the hike, and it's incredible. Oh, and and <laughs> awesome. I wanted to call my daughter Rosemary. But I don't see really? my wife would be uh, oh. <laughs> so she have call her Adasa instead. Oh, I <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's um, it's a very it's a rosemary is pungent. Okay. So uh, and um, but uh, it's flavor lasts. It's very woody and mm -hmm. pungent, and uh, 
yeah, but the flavor lasts a, a long time. So these are the herbs you can put really in the beginning of your cooking. Okay, okay so we're done there. Beautiful. So now let's put uh, some olive oil. Okay? okay, so we're going to drizzle some olive oil enough to make it to coat everything nicely. Okay. And as you see, we uh, we don't we didn't measure it. It's like three tablespoon, okay? So we put three <laughs> tablespoon. This is three tablespoon, isn't it, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> she yes. Like, oh, yes. Okay. Well, it's fine. Okay. Uh, so, so the next things you're going to put some uh, also some salt. Yes. Okay. So for this salt. Yeah. So you're going to just just sprinkle some salt on top. Yeah. Okay. A little uh, for flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Salt for flavor. And the recipe asks about. Um, I mean, I'm a salt about, uh, hmm, they didn't even say salt in it. Salt oh, for to taste. Like, okay? a little, like a fourth of a teaspoon. Ah, this is a scramble to food there. Oh, I'm the on the wrong one. one. Oh, yes. I better put this one on top. <gasps> yeah. Okay. okay. Salt Thank you. to taste. Okay. So right. that's fine. Th and I, so. I like some onion powder and garlic mm, powder mm -hmm. if you like this. Hey, you can put, um, the reason why we don't put fresh garlic for this because we're going to roast it, uh, in 470 degree, we will burn the garlic. So we want okay. to use and say gar uh, uh, dry garlic. Okay, okay I love okay. garlic. Is it okay? Go ahead. Yes, put as much as you, you want. This is your dish. This is your <laughs> recipe. Doesn't matter. Mm. You see, we have we put a, we put uh, the number set, but you know how to. You, yes. Okay. You, is it's, that more? It's up to you. If you want more? You can put more. But I, I don't think know. It's good. I mean, yeah. Okay, I, I think it's good. Okay. 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 <laughs> and some, really some <laughs> onion powder. It's the principle. If you get the principle, it's great. Doesn't matter if. I put a proportion for it one teaspoon mm. of each is the principle okay okay so it's as you like it mm. and i grew up with a garlic is I something that. that we put on every meal mm -hmm. when we make meal onion and garlic mm -hmm. okay so um S the sorry. next thing is smoked paprika this is an option emily but i think i think you bring a smokiness to this mm -hmm. it's incredible i think i think you uh, you don't want it a little no, bit no, i okay. like it yeah how much do you suggest i, that I would I'm say for about a teaspoon something like that okay, okay? All right, sounds good. Just like yes, that you're doing it very well. <laughs> yes, I would put a little bit more. more? But that's up to you. <laughs> okay. But it's fine. It's fine. No, okay, I, that's I good. I do like it. And and uh, so nutritional yeast fix. Okay. I think the nutritional yeast fix just give uh, another dimension mm. to the potatoes. It's like a like a broth flavor, like mm. a, a cheese flavor. So it's it just give a uh, it coat the potatoes so well and give it a incredible flavor to it mm. also. Mmm, smells good. really good too. Awesome. Everything now, is. the last thing is just toss this thing. Okay. okay, put your hand in Yay. and let's do it. This is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, our hand is the best instrument it. to use, you know, for cooking. We're going to do that okay. for the, uh, the tofu eventually also. <laughs> Very well. And uh, mm, meantime, what I like to do, good. I just I take my hand, I wash it after. I just to see the salt content is great. The salt content is, good? is good. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. I mean, this is a good meal. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I'm excited. I love. I that. love breakfast food. All right. So. Okay. Now we have good. a tray there. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, do you? Want we have this here. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> I can't. No. Take your time. It's okay. fine. Hey, I hope I hope we didn't go too fast. I hope you are in the same the same uh, uh, where we are. And uh, we're going to bake it at 475 degrees. So uh, your oven needs to be preheated first. And uh, it will take about how long? It will take about 15 minutes. It might take longer in your oven. This oven, I hope I never tried this oven for this one there. So 15 minutes is there. So let's say <laughs> in my <laughs> oven, I hope it was 15 minutes. OK, go ahead. Yes. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, I'll hold it for you. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold it for you. Oh. That would be a disaster. Yeah. And we put a parchment paper. Thanks. So it'd be easy to clean after that. Mm -hmm. So unless you like to wash dishes, scrape thing like this. Okay, so uh, just put it flat. Yeah. So can you see this? This is incredible. This is beautiful. And the flavor will be just awesome, maybe. Yes. Mm. Yes. And the wedges, they're good size. They're okay. Yes, it's right, a good sweet. size. Pe you can cut it in. T in, in uh, and uh, you can make dice if you want, uh, also mm -hmm. eventually another time, okay? All right. Good. Okay, go ahead and oh. put in the salmon there. Okay. Let's put, put this, this here for now. Okay, and we are ready for about 15 to 20 minutes.
Okay, so while they're getting that prepared, I'll just give you a little devotional thought. It reminds me of a good text in John 10, 10. I've, Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So certainly the teachings of Scripture and the teachings of Jesus are going to contribute to the more abundant life spiritually, but physically, and also mentally and socially, I believe. Third John chapter 1, verse 4, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So God wants us to prosper and prosperity involves health spiritually and once again physically the bible teaches us that our body is the temple of the holy spirit and that whatever we eat drink and do we should glorify god so once again there's that physical dimension the bible also gives us instructions then what kind of food we should eat and that's going to be a future presentation. We'll talk about what the Bible teaches about foods that are clean and unclean and those that are healthy. Uh, suffice it to say, though, Genesis 1 and 3, the Bible talks about foods that are healthy for the original diet, which includes fruits, grains, nuts, and vegetables. It wasn't until the flood that meat was introduced into the diet. And we'll take a look at something that relates to that tonight. So we're going to ask ourselves the question tonight, if a person follows what the Bible says uh, about lifestyle, including what you eat and drink and what you do, uh, will it add years to your life? I believe it does because Jesus said he's come to give us a more abundant life. And I don't think Jesus, by virtue of dying on the cross, did anything to take away the teachings of the Bible that contribute to that abundant life, uh, but rather sustains it. So let's take a look at uh, a group of people who are trying to follow what the Bible says about whatever you eat, drink, and do, do all to the glory of God. And that takes us to the study of Blue Zones. Dan Butner published an article in the National Geographic, and uh, it was looking at Blue Zones. Five basic areas that he was looking at. Blue Zones, first of all, is an area of uh, high concentration of people who live a long life. Generally, over 90 years of age, uh, oftentimes they have many that live over 100 years of age in their, in their lifespan. So some of the areas, uh, for example, in Sardinia, Sardinia, Italy, that is where the longest living men on planet Earth live. <clears throat> That's the highest concentration of longevity for men. Okinawa <clears throat> has excuse me, the highest concentration of the longest living women on planet Earth. And then there's two other places that also have longevity. But the fifth one is kind of fascinating because while numbers one through four deal with different ethnic groups, um, those ethnic groups are gradually adapting to the Western diet. And as they're adapting to the Western diet, it's believed that their lifespans are going to start to shorten and they're going to become more and more like the average person living on planet Earth. The fifth group is a little different, though, because it's a faith-based group. It's a group of people who try to live by what the Bible teaches. And uh, that is centered in Loma Linda, California. And there's a group of Christians there called Seventh-day Adventists. National Institutes of Health have been very fascinated because Adventists live longer. Their research has found with large numbers of Adventists that they live on average for men about 7.4 years longer than the average American male. And the Adventist women live an average of 4.4 years longer than the average American female. So what are the characteristics <clears throat> that about Adventists that uh, they live by that impact this? Well, again, going back to the Bible, nutrition, 48% of Adventists are vegetarian. Of those, 8% are vegan. That is that they base all of their diet on a plant-based diet. Now that comes in handy because by partaking in that kind of diet, you have a lot of fiber, and fiber is very instrumental in helping to fight against cancers, moving stuff out of your system quicker and so forth. So because of that, there's a 30% decreased risk of developing cancers among that people group that eat plant-based foods over those who mix that with meats. Well, there's also, not only is it talk about nutrition, but there's exercise. And that's pretty much standard throughout all of the uh, Blue Zones. All those people groups are very much involved in exercise. And that's a very much of benefit, and we can talk about that another time. Hydration is important. Drinking lots of water is important, no matter uh, which group you're in. All of them were hydrated. There is also... 
there is um, sunshine is important. Getting vitamin D is important. We're talking about COVID now, and they're saying that higher doses of vitamin D are helpful in fighting against COVID or other immune type uh, situations. There is the importance of temperance. And the Bible does talk about the abstinence of alcohol, for example, and that's another study we'll talk about in more detail. Um, but not just alcohol, illegal drugs of any kind, uh, smoking, uh, those kind of things that have a deleterious effect on the body temple uh, would definitely shorten life. And by abstaining from that, it tends to Getting plenty of air. Air comes with exercise, fresh air. You know, in some of our cities today, there's large amounts of pollution. We try to decrease the amount of pollutions more and more, but there are still areas that have very much pollution. You think about all the fires out in California, Oregon, the West Coast, you know, largely on fire. All the smoke pollutants in the air impact people's lung and its health. There's another part which involves rest. Rest is very important. So rest for Adventists, they get one day of rest. That's the seventh day, the Sabbath day, as the Bible talks about. Abstaining from work during that time and even preparing food during that time and fellowshipping together and worshiping God becomes important, which ties right in with the last one, trust in God. So those who live longer, and that answers the question. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That uh, also in Exodus, once again, it says that those who follow the, his statutes and his teachings, none of these diseases that are on the standard population, like the Egyptians of the time in which they were addressing the people uh, of that time in Moses' writing, uh, or you could say the average American diet, if you follow Jesus' teaching and the Bible's teaching on health, uh, you will certainly thwart many of the cancers that are coming through today. So I just want to encourage you with our devotional thoughts that if you look at what the Bible teaches about health and you start to add those principles to your life, you're going to add quality years, you're going to add quantity years, and uh, you'll live and discover the more abundant life Jesus came to give you physically. But I want to invite you to check out what the Bible says so you can have that more abundant life spiritually as well. All right, so we're going to pass this on. Okay, so I guess they want to do a little review. Um, I'm not ready to go down that road right now. I wasn't prepared for that. Anyway, I uh, hope you are going to tune in and check us out. We do this once a month. Our typical format is we kind of have like an introduction of a theme. Uh, we introduce the staff. We introduce the food that we're cooking. Following that, I'll do uh, devotional thoughts, uh, and our experts will present uh, a health nugget. And we'll conclude by uh, showing artistically how you put the food together and how it looks delicious. And unfortunate for you, you won't be able to taste the food, but we'll tell you what it tastes like as we sample it. So we're going to turn it back over to Chef and uh, Emily. Hi. So uh, right, right now we need to do. Sorry, we have a fan is working and the fan is coming back and forth. You know, this is an industrial kitchen, so the fan is important, but we're going to fix this problem um, very soon. So okay. <laughs> thank you for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to fix it. I That's why I went to the other steps and oh, I'm out of breath. Okay, so we're going to start the tofu. Okay. Cool. Okay, scrambled tofu. Uh, do you like scrambled tofu? I love it. Okay. Yeah. And how do you make it usually? Uh, what um, eh, what I flavor do you like in your in your, uh I like what we have here, but okay. I don't know I don't I don't usually put celery in it, so I'm excited about okay. that. And I yeah. yeah, I haven't put the rosemary in it before, so I'm not okay. so yes. about that. And you can put oregano also. We I put yeah. some basil thing uh, I uh, but I have you can put oregano, we have basil and uh, also chives here and awesome. so there's things. So first thing we're going to start. I hope you like scrambled tofu. It's a great sta staple for your breakfast in the morning. I think, I think, and I try it. Even though you might have some reservation about tofu, but try it. Yeah, and Give it a try. The yeah. leftovers are good, like in a sandwich or in yes. a or something. Yes, that's true. Really <laughs> yes, uh, I love that. Okay, a wrap actually is a good idea. I should have brought a wrap and we should have done this. Oh, oh, that's a good okay, <laughs> okay. So let's take a, some. Uh, we need a, not 
all this stuff, uh, all this uh, onion for it. But first, I want to show them. This is like a firm, firm soft tofu, uh, firm tofu that we have. This um, you have different uh, varieties pack, but this one is pre-sliced already. Okay, and yeah, all them work as long as firm or extra firm if you want to. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, so cut it in half first. You remember now the other way. <laughs> yes. Forget how you do it. You're my <laughs> chef. Only once a month. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you need to practice this yes. at home. Yes. Okay. yes. And then after this, I will help you for uh, okay. show you this one. Okay. It's so beautiful. So it's yes, like it is beautiful. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, <so> beautiful. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> now we're talking about onion. How beautiful is the onion? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So now we we're going to uh, peel it. Just usually we peel it first, but no, actually that's perfect. Okay, just peel it like this. It's perfect. After, yeah. That's it. Okay. Okay, and uh, I, I will cut the top of it, mm -hmm. yeah, and then after this, you are going to start, we're going to do the lesson again, okay, we're going to start from here, down, just like that, okay? Okay, you don't want to cut the whole thing, so you want <gasps> to, to hold oh it, you remember? <laughs> <Oops. laughs> okay. I'm glad you reminded me, oh, it went all the way Okay, here. so you take the tip of the knife here, okay. and you press it down, just like that, okay? Okay. See that? Yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, okay. It's faster. Uh, yes, it is. It is. It is faster. Okay. Ah, the friend is coming back again to haunt us. Okay. So Thank now. You, Samuel. Okay. So now, after that, you do crosswise this way, like this. Am I going the right way? Okay. Yes. This All the way. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh. Good. All the way. I'll ask so much. All okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so oh that's no. fine. That's good. Okay. okay, so now you want to dice it. Okay? okay. And we're going to use about a quarter to a half a cup of onions for that. Okay. So. Very good. So y we can so use like yours. That that's perfect. That's beautiful. Like a quarter right wow, here. you're getting better and better in these things. <laughs> okay, I will put I'm the. Glad uh, you me how to do it. I will put the uh, the skillet on at the same time. We want a hot skillet before we put anything in. So right, put it on first. Okay. And before, and we can chop a few things in the meantime. Which one is which? Oops, wrong uh. one. Sorry. Huh? Yeah, you can go. Yeah. Is this it? Is am I doing? Maybe okay. Is let's this change this one. one. Let's put this one. This Sorry, one is off. Yes, this one. The light. Oh, there the it goes. The pilot was off. Okay, okay. On low. Okay, great. Yeah, it's on low. Okay, so uh, just put it aside there, and then you're going to start oh. um, the bell pepper. Okay. All right. Perfect. The bell pepper is. Uh, you, I, I mentioned green on the recipe, but we can use also any color. It just give a vibrant color to the tofu. Mm -hmm. You know, we eat with our eyes also. So <laughs> I like that we eat with our eyes. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so you just you just uh, you just cut it this way like this, and okay. I like I like to empty it just like that after that. Mm. Okay, to take the the core yeah. out. Okay, perfect, and you just Oops. press it down <laughs> like this. Okay, <laughs> and you play some music in there. <laughs> 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 like a little bongo. <laughs> so, yes, some Jamaican music. Okay, <laughs> now now we cut it half, and uh, and then I like I don't like to cut it on on from the top, so I like to okay. reverse and so it doesn't slide so much. Okay, so you just make some wedges like this. Okay. Yeah, just like. That. Wow, you fast, you faster than me. <laughs> wow, you are using the knife very well. Okay, so oh, uh, we're going mercy. to put some red and some 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 yellow on and I don't have the green Beautiful. today, so we're going to mix both together. It's gonna be pretty. Okay. So yep. I take I will put like a Are you dicing now? Okay. Yes, you can dice it. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use this amount. Maybe you can do the same thing. And we're not going to put too much. Okay. So maybe Just you take a, a little bit. Wait. I'll give you this because this will be on your so take uh, just the same amount. Like about that yeah, much. Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah. Okay. So and now pretty. we're going to do the celery also. Okay. Let me wash the celery first. Okay. Put your celery is, is uh, I know most ball. people probably don't use celery in their tofu, but I, I think it give a, um, um, this, how do you define this? <laughs> Uh, it will give uh, the celery have a saltiness to it mm. also, mm -hmm. uh, but it will give like a, a freshness and crunchiness into the mm. your thing also uh, into the tofu. I like um, celery. That yes. Sounds good. Okay. So okay. okay, go ahead, and we can just like a soup, celery and leeks in the soup is just incredible. They are mm, like like leeks, the yeah. best friend. 
Master of Grand Lakes. You know, like cumin and coriander. Or like the letter <laughs> Q and U. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. They have to go together. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so it's like, oh, this is making so much noise when I do this. Okay. Uh. Okay, now. Okay. So perfect dice. They are like this. Wow. It smells so good. I love celery. I'm very impressed of your way of cutting right now. It's like, you really have it. <laughs> It's incredible. Have you been cooking a lot at you. home or something? <laughs> you know, the holiday, the like vacation. So what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, so now the garlic. Okay. You like garlic? Yes. Yeah, you mentioned that. So I, mm -hmm. I, I will use about, you can use as much as you want. Go ahead. First, what you want to do, you want to crush it down. It's you remember dangerous that? dangerous to tell me that, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can do as well. <laughs> yes, you don't want too garlicky though. <laughs> no, I won't, I won't go too. The garlic too on the garlic. recipe is um, oh, how many on the recipe? Do you have? I can yeah, see it, it somewhere. Says, yeah, um, three, three cloves. cloves. But mm, you can go to four if you want. Okay, I have two here. here. I have two cloves yeah. here. Okay. You have two. Okay. Yes. Well, so that's you see, and we crush it first, so it's easy to chop after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sound good. <laughs> you have <Yeah>. it. <laughs> I hope we have fun. We have so knife. much fun now cooking <laughs> together. This girl is like incredible. She's learning so fast. You see how she cuts. Ah oh man, I remember yeah, the first class. We should go though. to the last video. The first video <laughs> of the first class. Okay. Let's just hopefully we won't burn anything tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah yeah, the burning. I forgot about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we can put some oil there. The okay. uh, olive oil. All right. Red. Yes. No. No. I'm that just enough to coat the bottom yeah, yes okay, it's good that yeah it should much. be fine no it's fine all right okay cool. and go ahead and put all i will not put a garlic yet because um oh. it might burn should've before i shouldn't have mixed it up yeah with the it's celery. fine even the celery if there's some celery with it is fine don't oh, worry okay. about okay we'll just try yeah. to get it out yeah see yeah, i mean that's the part yeah, i very nice. last time very yes the garlic <laughs> if you put the garlic first we had to redo it <laughs> before the onion gets soft it will burn and we have to start again <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. okay no, it's fine. It's good. Safe. If it's only one or two garlic, it's not a problem. <laughs> or pieces, I mean. Okay. okay go ahead. So bring this, the, I will bring the cutting board all yeah. the way. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bring okay. the cutting board with you. Yes. All right. And let Perfect. me find something for you to stir. So. Hey, I have a I surprise for you. Oops. Do you like mushrooms? Yes, you I like do mushrooms? like mushrooms. Okay, this is not on the <laughs> recipe. <laughs> hey, this is not on the recipe, but we are allowed to do this, don't we? Okay, there is some mushroom there. Those who don't like mushrooms, you don't know how to put it, but we love mushroom. Mm. You love mushroom also. And we love yeah, mushrooms. So I we're going I'm to put... I'm excited about mushrooms. Just to give you an idea, you can do... This is, like the fun this is like a principle. This is like a foundation. Then after that, you can add anything you want. Okay. You yeah, you can put mushrooms, you can put olives, you can put tomatoes, you can do whatever, okay? So... Can I use your spoon? Yes, of course. That's what I took okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay for I'm you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> of course, you can use the spoon. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to use this. Yeah. Okay. Thank so you. I have some mushrooms there. I already chopped it for you, and Thank uh, you. you can you can add it to it. Ooh. Yeah. Go Do ahead. you have a special way to chop these? Uh, n I not really. What I kind of watch you. Okay, so what I did, like a, like oh the onions, for example, you can do this like the onions, and then you can oh. just do this. You're okay. So fast. <laughs> well. <laughs> 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 hey. Uh, I'm not very fast at doing it this way, but I but like cautious it. is I like good. It. Yeah. Yeah, cautious. That's true. It's good. I don't, I don't have a bandage on. here right now, so <laughs> 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 so I don't want to finish by myself oh. this class. Okay. I don't think I remember. Oh, there we go. Okay. Good. Whoops. Oh well. Okay. Mushrooms. And obviously mm. we give like a... So in order for it to not sweat the color, sometimes I give a brown color. You want to let it cook mm -hmm. to absorb, to reduce all the water from the mushroom at the same time. Okay. So we want to make okay. sure it's cooked properly so there's no water content inside. So I think it's enough. Uh, do you want more mushrooms? Okay, oh I have mercy, this one no. there. I guess no, that's great. Okay. I was just okay. having fun practicing. Practicing, you're practicing. Really okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So yeah. take, I will, I will just give you this amount of and acid. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yes. And I can just put this in now. Yes, you can put this. Okay. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> she loved cutting, so she was practicing, and that's good. <laughs> that's good, Emily. It's gonna be really mushroomy. <laughs> yes, it, it'll be great. <laughs> okay, and al also you can put 
um, tomato. I have tomato, but we don't have to do this today. Um, <gasps> but can we? Can we put some tomato? You okay? I well, we can put tomato. some tomatoes. Do you have time? Yes, I have some tomatoes, of course. Okay. okay. Oh, so awesome. first of all, the tomatoes. Yeah, perfect. Do that like this. Okay. And you can oh, dice it. That's a, a very uh, awesome breakfast. Tomatoes, yes. uh, mushrooms, and all those veggies coming together. Am I oh, supposed to do this like the Yes, onion? you do it like the onions. Perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you have it. Go all the way down. Go what? all the way down. Yes. Oh, oh. Like all the way through? Yeah, all the way through, yes. Oh, oh, okay. But I mean, I mean uh, yes, what? you can do all the way through, but you can just, you know. You keep you keep the oh the, the end, end. The yeah end. you keep the end you don't cut the end yeah so like this yes like this so it'd be easy oh. to hold that everything so is that what like I was supposed onion. to do with the onions yeah this is okay. yeah exactly I, <laughs> <laughs> I put the the uh, I put the okay. flame higher okay so let's wash it carefully <laughs> I put it higher so you <laughs> go faster otherwise we'll be waiting and waiting for this to cook yeah okay so All right, very good. I hope you are guys doing well also. I hope you're cooking and you have fun in the kitchen because we have a lot of fun, surely. And it smells great, great, great. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we haven't even put the it's rosemary really and everything like this. But uh, we're going to put this now after this. Okay, awesome. Okay, so go ahead. You can put your, <laughs> your thing in there. Right? Do you want me to save the garlic still though? Yeah. Yes, we still save okay. the garlic. Hold on. <gasps> yeah. L on. Let's cook this first, okay. and then you put the on, uh, because this will release water. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so we want to make sure it's sauté first. Okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead, stir it. Yes. And uh, and uh, and uh, in the meantime, mm. after this, you're going to uh, work on the tofu. So you can use your hand for the tofu, Emily. So <laughs> just take your hand and crush this thing up. <laughs> yes. And uh, wa tofu have water in its content, so she already emptied the water from the, the container, so you can go ahead, okay. Just dump it? Yes, just dump it. So you see there's no water in it, we already make sure the water is not in it. You don't want the water with the tofu, otherwise it'd be very soupy, uh, scumball tofu, I mean okay? Okay, go ahead, so crush it, put your hand in. <laughs> it, it can be cold. So satisfying. <laughs> yes, so comforting. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> comforting. Comforting. I don't, I don't know if it's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so comforting. <laughs> She doesn't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's <really> good. Fun. <laughs> good. Hmm. Uh, okay, so this is the texture. Y if you have is some pieces, enough? it's okay. If you have some uh, some big piece and everything, okay, yeah. perfect. Okay. So I think it's it's practically ready, Emily. So now go ahead and put the tomatoes and the um the garlic. Okay. Okay. You want me to help you? You good? Okay. I think good. so. It's just gonna be yeah. a messy cutting board. That's okay. okay. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, this is so this is happen at home, this so. is reality. This is life. It. You know, <laughs> it's like you cannot get better than that. Oh man, the mushroom smells so good. Yes, that's beautiful. Hmm. Mm. Can you see this, guys? Can you see this? This is like bring it closer. Yes. Yeah. See on the camera. Yes. Awesome. Man, so good. Tilt it to, to the camera a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. You see it? Oh, Isn't it pretty? The flavor is, is incredible. The colors and mm -hmm. uh, it's very Mediterranean. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so now the next things we have is the tofu. Go ahead, put the tofu in. And okay. Yes. Oh, here. Um. Oh okay, I wish yeah. I was right handed. Okay, <laughs> yes, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> yes, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I would try right handed, but I think, I, think I would spill it. What? Yeah, I'll take the ball. Oh, you. okay. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Okay, so she's mixing the tofu with all the veggies. Mm. Uh, I'll remind you again what we have. We have, what do we have? Onions, garlic, mushrooms, bell pepper, and celery. Okay, everything's being mixed mm -hmm. nicely there. And then now we want some color. It's beautiful, but it's missing some eggs like ye the yellow, you know. So what could make it yellow? Turmeric. Turmeric. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and put some turmeric inside. Okay. The turmeric, we don't want to put too much turmeric because it's going to be kind of bitter a little bit. Sorry. So you don't yes. want to put too much. Uh, just, uh, um, just enough to give it some color, okay? Just enough to give it some color. Okay. Let's use this part there. Make sure this one is sealed well so it doesn't open at the same time. Okay. okay. <laughs> hold it at the same time. I will hold the top lid. Hold, oh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, yes, off. Right, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. 
Yeah, that should be is that enough. enough? Yes, that should be fine. All right, it's cool. about a quarter of a teaspoon, so not oh, much. Just to give it, just to give it some you color. See, just a, just a okay, and uh, then just stir it. Okay. And uh, we're going to use some rosemary for this also. Have you ever heard that turmeric helps with? What's that? I mean, turmeric's really good for you, right? Yeah, it's it's good anti-inflammatory. Anti it's uh, mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's. I give that for your lungs. For I yeah. give that to my daughter. I make a tea. Actually, I oh make yeah. a tea with mm -hmm. uh, turmeric, uh, rosemary, lemon, and garlic, and wow. uh, so and it's in, uh, and uh, something else, ginger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like it's boosting your immune system. It's just it's, it's incredible for for flu, for a cold. Yes. And uh, this is what uh, I give to my kids. So and it's um, actually, I ha yeah. my friend Beth in the UK yeah. made turmeric tea one time. It yeah. was really good. I was very surprised. Is anyway. it she used the fresh fresh turmeric or she used the I powder? Think so. Yeah, probably she used the fresh one. Yeah, I this is really so, great. Yeah. Okay, okay, now let's put um some rosemary inside. Okay. Okay. I I just just yep. chop this one out. Kay. And uh I I have some basil. I'm going to do the basil. The basil you don't want to chop basil. You don't want you want to just like chiffonade. They call it a chiffonade. That's when you put everything together it like this. So pretty. And then and then just that. Uh, only one time. Mm. It should not because it, when it brews, um, all the oil from the basil is being wasted, and so it doesn't taste as as strong in it. So you want to do only one cut. Okay. Okay. And but I. These, but these I can. No, just keep this one. Yet. Yes, yes, this one. And the okay. basil, we're not going to put it right away because um, the flavor goes fast. Uh, out as soon as you cook basil too long, it take away the flavor. So okay. you want to put it in at the end. Yeah. Okay. And this is some chive here. We're going to mm. put some chive. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put green onions or chive. Uh, I I happen to have some chives from uh, yeah from mm. another group. So it's a uh, okay. Go ahead. Put it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was just breathing it, it in. It like it's the so smell. It, the yes. smell is incredible. I, lo I love. Restaurant. Sometimes you know what I do. Sometimes I put it in my car. The smell of yeah. <laughs> yes, it's like hey, free free uh fragrance, you know. Yep. It's like <laughs> it's not expensive. Okay, now right. you go and stir it quickly. Okay. And uh, if you want some cayenne, of course for breakfast people don't feel like eating some uh hot food eh, for breakfast. But sometimes you can if you mm -hmm. want to. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's uh breakfast is at night, you know. Breakfast uh things suffer. Okay, how does so it look? You want to t uh, lower it down a little yeah, bit? Yeah. Yes, okay. please. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we're missing those uh, nutritional yeast mix. Um, on the recipe, we mentioned how many? How much? Um, it was. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, two tablespoons. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, two tablespoons for flavor. And Kay. salt, salt to taste. Okay. And. Uh, oh, I always put extra of this in. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, she goes with extra. Okay. <laughs> well, this is her recipe. This is her food. This is going to eat it. So, it, okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. And the salt, Just salt to taste. Bit? Yes. Okay. I would say about a teaspoon, maybe less. Okay. And we're going to try it anymore. I yeah. would put more. I don't think more it's enough. More than that? Yes, more Kay. than that. Yeah. Okay. Kay. Like that. And we're going to try it anyway. Okay, very good. So, mm -hmm. go ahead and stir it. Okay. Yeah, and this uh, is like deluxe tofu. <laughs> yes, it it's is. So it is good. like a, a four star tofu. <laughs> okay, uh, tilt it a little bit so she can Sorry. see. So you see the vibrant color in this. Uh, the camera can go on this one. Okay, okay, perfect. This is it. Mm. Okay, that's awesome. So um, we uh, we're going to create a little a little bit more while we're doing this. Uh, we will give. Uh, uh, for needing to uh to give her her lecture. Yes. a little bit of a challenge today in that I had my entire lecture prepared and went to lunch and came that I lost it because I forgot to save it I thought I saved it the Bible says that our light affliction does work some good for us 
So that little affliction did work me some patience and some trust in God. <laughs> Thank God I was able to uh, remember what I, uh, what I wrote. So our title today is Soy, Friend or Foe. As you can see, that chef is preparing tofu. And tofu is a type of soy. Uh, it is a derivative of soy, I should say. Um, you guys have probably heard some good things about soy, and you've heard some bad things about soy. So tonight we're going to clear, or try to clear a little bit of that up. Um, certain types of soy products that you probably know about are tofu, um, which is very common. You can find that in pretty much every grocery store that you go to. You can find soy milk, all different brands of soy milk. You can find edamames, you can find miso, you can find soybeans, you can find tempo, and you could probably name a whole lot of other products that soy um, comes, that you can, that are soy products. Um, soy is actually very high in certain nutrients. And one nutrient that soy is popular for is um, called isoflavoins. Flavones. And isoflavones have been studied very extensively, and many research studies show that they have a great impact on many chronic diseases, such as heart disease. Um, soy is also high in uh, protein, very high quality protein, and studies show that it is just as good quality protein as there is in milk. Soy is also pretty high in calcium, iron, unsaturated fatty acids, B vitamins, zinc, and a whole wide range of phytochemicals, which are plant chemicals that fight disease. So soy has a lot of good properties to it. But there are some myths about soy. One myth that you have probably heard is that soybeans, or soy in general, causes cancer. You have also probably heard that men who consume soy can grow breast. You have probably also heard that soy can lead to infertility, that it can cause soy uh, thyroid problems, and that it's probably not safe for children. So there are a lot of myths about soy. So let's look at each, each of these myths. Let's talk about studies that have been done on soy. Soy has been studied for a lot of years, probably about 100 years. And early studies that have been done on soy were actually done on rodents. And that's very important to note because rodents, what has been done on rodents and what proves true to be uh, rodents may not be true for human beings. Soy is processed differently when you study it on rodents. Recently, there have been more studies on soy that actually have been done on actual humans. And those are the type of studies that we want to pay attention to. So on the original studies in soy, soy was actually blamed for being an endocrine disruptor, which means that it, is, it can cause, probably cause diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, cancer. It can also cause developmental endocrine disorders, male and female reproductive issues. However, new studies that have been done in soy, and one that I will be focusing on throughout this lecture, was actually published this year in 2021. Um, this study analyzed 417 studies related to soy. And those 417 studies included 229 ob observational studies, which is where they observed people for a certain period of time. Uh, there were 159 clinical studies which means um, they have two groups of people, the control group, and they actually have the people that is the one that they actually give the product to. And then they compared those two groups of people. And then you have 32 systematic reviews and meta analysis, which is a conglomeration of different studies. So this person, Messina et al., and a bunch of other author authors, they actually got 417 studies together, which you can imagine that took a lot of years to do. Um, so what they found with cancer, concerns were raised in the mid-late 1990s that soy 
intake, particularly isoflavones, increase the risk of developing breast cancer, particularly in women that were already at high risk for cancer. And there was concern that it would, it would race, uh, worsen the prognosis of those who survived breast cancer. There was concern also that soy contributed to the growth of ex existing breast cancer. And of particularly interest is that these studies were done on rodents. But the study that I just referred to, um, in observational and clinical studies, it has now been found that soy intake is actually safe for breast cancer survivors, which is good news. I'm happy to hear that. Soy consumption is associated with a decreased risk of recurrent breast cancer and mortality. So that means that if you consume soy, there is less of a chance that you will have recurrent breast cancer and there's less of a chance of mortality from breast cancer. So that's wonderful news. And the studies also found that soy had no adverse effect on breast tissue. Great news. And you may be wondering where on earth did this come from? Is this actually true? Well, this study or um, this new conclusion about soy has actually been supported by the American Institute for Cancer Research, the American Cancer Society, the World Cancer Research Fund International Society, and the Canadian Cancer Society. So you can go on any one of these um, societies on the website, you can Google them, and you can see that they have good things to say about soy in regards to cancer. The other issue with soy is that it may cause feminization of men. That's pretty common. <laughs> There's a lot of men that won't eat soy or tofu or anything because they think they might grow breast tissue. Well, this um, idea of men growing breast tissue, probably, I'm not sure if it got started then, but there was an article about 10 years ago in a popular men's magazine that suggested that very thing, that men may grow breast when they consume soy. Consequently, or in recent studies though, this magazine has actually changed their opinion of soy and they are now herald, herald in soy as the king of proteins. So now they have good things to say about soy because there's new evidence that has come about. So the new evidence suggests that soy intake in men has no effect on testosterone levels, estrogen levels, estradiol levels, in men, that it does not affect sperm or semen parameters, that it has no effect on growth in breast tissue. So the evidence also suggests that soy protein performed as good as whey protein in bulking up and in building muscles. So men, if you want to build muscles, soy protein is actually a great protein to, to have. Soy and infertility. The study that I, I mentioned also says that soy does not affect sperm and semen parameters. We just talked about that. And there is no evidence that soy has any pregnancy-related income uh, outcomes, sorry. So it does not affect fertility. Soy and thyroid function, that's a big one. A lot of people um, who have thyroid problems may have been told that they should not consume soy. Um, research in the past has labeled soy as a goy goitrogenic food, which means that it affects the levels of your thyroid hormone. But this new research that has been done shows that soy consumption does not affect the T3 or T4 levels, which are thyroid hormone levels. It does not adversely affect those who have normal thyroid function. So if you have normal thyroid function and you consume soy, you're not going to have thyroid problems because of soy. The study also found that soy consumption does not affect those who already have a compromised thyroid function. So if you already have hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism, the study does not show that that's going to make you worse. What the studies do show is that soy affects the absorption of a medication called levothyroxine, which is what patients with uh, low thyroids have to take. So the recommendations for that, because it does affect the absorption, is that you should consume your thyroid medications 30 to 60 minutes before breakfast or four minutes after your last meal. And by the way, it's not only soy that affects the absorption of levothyroxine, fiber also affects it. And there's also certain herbs that affect the, um, the absorption. Soy in children. 
So that's another concern. Many parents are concerned that um, poop, uh, soy might cause early puberty in their children. Um, I know a few years ago, I kept hearing too that I shouldn't give soy to my children. But current evidence suggests that there is no relationship between soy intake and the onset of puberty in boys or girls. In fact, when you compare both groups, those that consume soy and those who do, who do not, there is the same uh, onset of puberty in both. Um, there's also substantial evidence that suggests that girls who consume soy early in life can reduce their risk of developing breast cancer later on in life. So the earlier that you have your child consuming soy, then the better it is for them later on in life. Another benefit of soy, um, a few months ago we talked about menopausal issues and I did mention a study by Dr. Barnard and he actually completed the study and it was published this year in the North American Menopause Society in the Journal of Menopause. Um, in his research, participants were asked to follow a vegan diet, to limit high fat foods, and to eat half a cup of cooked soybeans per day. Over a 12 week period, this was done over a 12 week period, the study found that a plant-based diet was rich in soy. A plant-based diet rich in soy products reduces moderate to severe hot flashes by 84%. And during the 12 week study, nearly 60% of the women became totally free of moderate to severe hot flashes. Overall, hot flashes, including the mild ones, decreased by 79%. So that is a wonderful, wonderful news in, in favor of soy and great news for women that are plagued with hot flashes. So in conclusion, we've learned that soy is healthy to consume for women, um, even those that are post-diagnostic of breast cancer. We found that soy does not uh, negatively affect the thyroid gland, that it does not cause growth of boobs in men, that it does not affect fertility, and that it is healthy for children to consume. Also, are in conclusion also, I would like to say that in the beginning, God said that he has given us every herb bearing uh, plant on the face of the entire earth and every tree whose fruit contains seed. That will be food for you. Now, if you look at soybeans, they are definitely seeds. And I believe that God gave Adam and Eve soybeans in the Garden of Eden. And so if God gave it to you, it is good for you to eat it. God bless. Thank you, Nadine. Thank you that was an awesome lecture. Thank you so much for sharing the, the truth about soy. Did you learn something? I learned I a few things. Yes, I did. Really I did good. learn. Awesome. Okay, the tofu is ready. Okay, uh, so we want to show them this tofu. Look at this. Look at this. How vibrant the color. And this is all my little sous chef over there. My <laughs> yes, incredible. <laughs> so we're going to play this nicely. This is like uh, the cigarette right there. Mm -hmm. You want to give a taste? Okay, there's a, a fork there. Go ahead and oh take sure. taste this. Guess and uh, we put the basil. Eh? We put the basil and the and uh, the and the chive, and the, and the chive mm -hmm. in it. Okay. How you taste? Mm. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, the smile. You see the smile? That's good. means good. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. I mm -hmm. hope at home you can do the same and try mm -hmm. this recipe. It's worth it. It doesn't take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay. Wow. And then we're going to put, hey, what about our potatoes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see those potatoes. Okay. Okay. They look Ooh. nice. Beautiful potatoes. So, as you see, Nice and crispy, mm -hmm. beautiful. We're going to put it here. Wow, and that's it. What about that? That's so beautiful. <laughs> so now our, um, <laughs> our cooking class is over, and uh, we have a lot of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun. So uh, next week also we have a breakfast. Um, I'll let you know. I will let you know what really? we have. Yeah, we have some kind of breakfast next week. Okay. Um, month? Next month? Next month. Okay. Yes, okay. next month. <laughs> okay, and I want you... Yes, <laughs> <laughs> next month. Okay, go ahead. So next time we're going to tune in is October 5. We always do it on Tuesday nights. The president will arrange what we're doing. So once a month, usually it's the first Tuesday of every month. 
So be sure to tell your friends and invite them to check it out. Uh, they can also, it's going to be archived, so you can tune it in. If they didn't have a chance to watch it live, they can uh, watch it on the archive. So thank you for tuning us in tonight. And um, while well, we're saying goodbye to you, we're probably going to taste some of this food here and wish you well. By the way, it was great to hear from some of you. Some of you were texting in, and we were reading your comments and trying to respond to you. So just give us some feedback, what you liked. If there's a certain things you would like us to do in the future, we're taking suggestions seriously, and we're just uh, compiling the pool and making decisions as the Lord leads us to. So thanks so much. We're going to say good night. God bless you all, and have a great evening. Take care. Bye. Take care, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs>